So for me, I, um, I was very fortunate that the guru really, uh, reached out his hand and pulled me in. I was, I remember the first time I really experienced, I did Seva and experienced Seva, um, which was, I think I was 14 living in India and I was staying up late living, you know, at, at the boarding school over there, staying up late because I was probably going to get into trouble. Um, and, uh, and I remember I was sneaking out of the dorm right at the same time where a couple guys were getting ready to go to Ishnan Seva. This was back in 94, I think it was 94. And um, they were like, what are you doing up? And I didn't really answer. And they're like, are you coming to Seba with us? And I was like, uh, yeah, that's why I'm up. So <laughs> I ended up, this was my first time going to Seba. And we we did um, Ishnan Seba inside a Darbarsa. Back then it was very empty. Um, it, you know, it, it was really like a real workout. Like you had to physically hustle with these heavy buckets full of water and do the whole thing and with the rugs and everything. And it was, it was like, you know, it kind of rocked me in a sense that it was like physically draining, but so uplifting. And it just like, you know, it's kind of like the, the Cupid's arrow to the heart. It was kind of that version to me, like some, I don't know what clicked, but something clicked and it was like, this is amazing. So we did that um, regularly back in the 94, 95 days. And then we kind of got into the uh, Lunger Seva where we'd go and make the um, the japatis, the, the uh, 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 rotis. We would just uh, roll them out for, we'd probably do between two and three hours. This is when I was in 10th grade. We'd do two or, two or three hours a day. We did that for months at a time. And uh it just something about it. It just felt so good. And then I think the kind of, uh, I think my highlight of Seva was when uh, my bro brother-in-law, before he was my brother-in-law at the time, um, we were living together in Amritsar after we graduated from school. And it was in the summer when it was just too hot to be outside in the day. And so we would go to Darbar Sabah around 11.45 at night. We would do Ishnan Seva, then we'd go to a call tucket, then we'd do Baba Atal, then the Prakarma Seva, then Lunger Seva. And it would go from about midnight to about seven o'clock in the morning or something like that. And it just was like that was that was it. Then we'd go, we'd eat, have some lunger for breakfast, and then go home and sleep for the majority of the day because it was so hot you couldn't do anything. And that was it. And it was like it was just perfect. And then from then coming home back to the States and yeah, all kinds of Seva. I was doing security Seva in L in Los Angeles, which just meant sleeping inside the, the Gurdwara at night as the security, they needed it there. Um, I mean, helping people in the Sangit, whether it was moving furniture or who knows what. Um, and then uh, I think about 15 years ago, a good friend of mine here, Yudhi Darbar Singh, he and I were just interested in starting to make lunger. And uh, so we started doing that here in our local Española Gurdwara. And then we started, we just kind of, I don't want to say took over, but just by whatever reason, we were cooking about, I don't know, 48 of the 52 weeks a year and uh, for Sundays. And it was just, it was awesome. Learning, learning how to cook for lunger and then actually improving on the quality of the food that we were making. So that it, you know, it was just a great experience. Then the friends would come and we'd make, make rotis. And uh, I mean, it was just such a fun thing and it felt so good. And I still do that. And uh, as well as a lot of other savas, but more on the administration side, which is a challenge for me because it's not my specialty, but it's what's kind of presented itself and just going with the flow.